Welcome to the Bases Loaded. This is Lucas, and we're finally doing it. We're playing Fantasy Star 4. This is uh, the uh, Steam uh, Sega Genesis Master System Classics Puppets Edition, all that stuff. Um, I am going to let the intro play through here, just so you can check that out, um, and so I can talk about the game a little bit. Um, it's an RPG and all that stuff. Um, I'll try and put in a little uh, timestamp skip if you want to just jump to the gameplay itself. Because um, you may not want to hear me talk about this, and I'll talk more later as the game starts playing. I'll let you read the text here on your own if you can handle, you know, reading and listening, which is not always easy, but I don't want to read this all out loud. I'll be reading plenty of other stuff later. Um, this game is a classic for me. Um, it's it's a very important game for me just in general. Um, it's the first RPG I really got into and it's what got me into the genre as a whole. And it kind of was a game that came up at a um, kind of important time in my life, which is something I'll talk about as the game goes on. Um, not in a whole lot of detail, but I will touch on what was going on um, as things go by. It kind of ties in a little bit with um, a couple of elements in the plot. Um, and I got a couple of friends into this game along the way as well. So I think it's a really good game. It's the last in the classic series. Um, but I think it works well on its own. And it's kind of exciting to check things out not knowing the background um, the way this game does. Um, and actually, I'm going to have to make a quick edit because my controller seems to have desynced even though it was right there because thank you, Steam. And we're back. This is your first job since you've joined the Hunter's Guild. You'd better put your heart into it. So I'm not a trainee anymore? From this day on, you're a full-fledged partner. Now come on, let's go. <clears throat> Where are we off to this time? It's a bit far. We're going to Mutavi Academy in the town of Piata. Wow, so we're going to the town of Learning. I wonder what's happened there. Who knows? The message said, just come. We'll get the details once we're there. Well, we'll see what happens with uh, <laughs> voices on this one. Um, the controls were very frustrating and made me want to throw things. Since we're going to be there anyway, I'd sure like to tour the academy. Is that all you can think about? Get moving or I'll leave you behind. AW2284 Monster attacks have swelled the ranks of those who call themselves hunters. But as the attacks become ever more frequent and powerful, an elite few begin to wonder what is behind this outbreak, and when and how will it all end. Very slow dialogue uh, text there. Cool thing in the middle of that screen, um, you can see actually a little town in the distance. I think um, um, Piata, the one where we are now, um, hard to notice in the old original graphics of the game because of the uh, crappy CRT televisions we were all playing on back then. But since everything's in much um, denser pixel resolution, you can see more detail to the games that we never saw back in the day. Oops, I wandered around and now I've gotten separated from Alice. I've got to find her. So, oops, that's the wrong button. Of course, they switch things around in the games. One of the cool things they introduced um, in uh, this game um, in your list of stuff, and I'll go over some of these other later, is um, if you walk away from the game and you kind of forget what you're up to, it's not the most helpful, but it was kind of a touch of assistance. You have what's normally a talk function, and the characters will just comment on what's going on and what they're supposed to be doing. 
And so it's kind of like, oh yeah, that's where I am. But right, if you're alone, as happens a couple of times in the game, it's mumble. And yay, I'm getting lag for some reason. Well, that's probably because I left like every application running on the computer. Are you a hunter? Are you here to exterminate the monsters? Because uh, I'm a monsters rights activist, and uh, you know. About a month ago, monsters began to appear in the basement. I'm so frightened, I can't even think about my research. Yeah, sometimes they uh, don't really want to walk up to the tables very well. But, uh, well, there's nothing interesting there, but sometimes there are books left out. But, uh, no luck. No luck for the wicked. Hmm, books are important under lock and key. A horrid math book. Very difficult math book. Those books are also importantly under lock and key. You're the hunter commissioned by the principal? A kid like you? Are you going to be able to handle it? I bet you can't even do math. She just talks when you walk up to her. Chaz, where have you been? Come on, let's go. I couldn't look straight ahead and see you. But we have to get to the principal and get the details about this commission. She suddenly uh, developed a man's voice, I guess. If you're looking for the principal's room, it's way in the back, but recently he's been acting strangely. I think he's scared of something. Couldn't be the monsters in the basement. Wow, what a view. Once there were three planets in the Algo solar system, but during the Great Collapse, the planet Parmesan cheese was lost. Now only Dizolus and this planet remain like a giant cranberry. Apparently, a thousand years ago, there were ships that could travel through space. Today, the only thing we can view is Dizolus through a telescope. Ah, just once I would love to go to Dizolus. Sounds like a dream, traveling to another planet. Comets and observing them. Astronomy. Heavenly phenomena. I'm not really going to do the whole, like, examine every single thing. By the way, there's some kind of glitch you can do to get through a wall there or something, and... Like, warp around. I'm not going to do that. Um, I've never actually attempted it before. It's a book entitled Chemical Reagents. Probably what's on that desk. Oh. Chemistry Apparatus. Chemistry Books. Engineering Book. Oddly shaped jar. Perhaps a Klein bottle. But uh, can't open people's cabinets. Blue haired man. Largest research university on the entire planet. It's because it's the only one. Um, so yeah, you know, you can wander around. Um, you try and get in the basement. You meet uh, that guy talking to himself. Can't be anyone important at all. I mean, he's got a picture and all that. God of Learning, Dr. Lovett. A person from 2,000 years ago. You can get out in the town. It doesn't really do you much good. Um, have you tried to leave? So, uh, you know, they won't care that you're a hunter and you clearly got in there. So, of course, why would you want to leave? You're there to work. So, anyway... Onward we go. Um, here we are. Oh, we can check out his books. Archaeology. Historical document. Another weird bottle. One thing with this game, you don't really find random crap laying around in cabinets. It's not like Final Fantasy. Welcome. I'm the principal of this academy. Let's see, you must be Alice the Hunter, and you are her assistant, Chaz. Forgive me, but Chaz is a full-fledged partner of mine. But, uh, not, you know, in the bedroom sense. Now let's get down to business. Describe the situation. Uh, about a month ago, mysterious monsters started to appear within this academy. It appears that they have made the basement their headquarters. I've since closed it off. So far, no one's been hurt, but who knows when they'll appear again. Please, I beg you to destroy all those creatures. Uh, 
I'd like to settle th this matter discreetly. I'm counting on your reputation, Alice. No problem, you can rely on us. Although it's strange that all these monsters suddenly appeared in this academy. Usually monsters don't come into inhabited areas. Do you have any idea how this happened? How would I know? I have big lines behind my head. Stop asking questions. Just hurry and exterminate those monsters. Don't forget I'm paying you dearly for your services. And he can rotate his head backwards. Good luck. We're all counting on you. I just want to tell you both. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Something smells fishy here. That principal was hiding something. Maybe he's hiding fish? I think there's more to it than that, Chaz. Things are starting to get interesting. Yeah, so, you know, we've been all over the place up here. Um, some of the conversations here do help kind of give you background on the world and all that. Huh? Do I know you? What are you doing with such lethal weapons? Get out! Hmm, how rude. And, you know, you got some pacifists and stuff like that. Makes sense, you're at the university, you know? Cluttered table. Bad problems from the beginning. Abnormal climate, soil depletion, decreasing birth rate. Not a promising future. I think Promising Future is the name of one of the songs in this game, actually. This guy is too depressing. Let's get out of here. Sounds like uh, some of the situational problems going on in Japan currently, actually. Declining birth rate and all that. 20-volume set of history. All right. I'm so scared of the monsters. There's nothing I'd like more than to leave town, but the principal won't allow it. Probably because he doesn't want people to uh, get the word out. We got earthquakes. Uh, the destruction of Mother Brain. After that, Motavia sustained a direct hit from a fragment of the exploding planet Parma. Civilization was almost destroyed, and that's the Great Collapse. Not much of a university, though. Because, I mean, we've got, like, classrooms for, like, three people. So, there you go. Um, you're the hunters? Really? You don't think we can do the job? No, no, not at all. I didn't mean that. Since we have the principal's permission, let us pass. Wait, take me with you! Hmm, and why should we? My name is Han. As if that explains everything. I'm an assistant at this academy. I work for Professor Holt, who has gone to investigate Birth Valley for his research. We haven't heard from him since, so now I am searching for the professor's whereabouts. Birth Valley? That's that mysterious place that's been called the Sacred Valley of Life. But what's the connection between the valley and this current monster scare? After the investigation team led by the professor was reported missing, the principal barred everyone from entering Birth Valley. We're trying to get information as to what's going on, but he keeps evading the issue. And then this monster scare begins. I'll bet anything there's some sort of connection between these incidents. Well, it's true that there is something fishy about the principal's behavior. See, Alice, I told you he's hiding fish! Given the circumstances, I feel compelled to investigate the basement myself. But come to think of it, it is a bit dangerous. So you were just waiting for us to arrive. Well, yes, you catch on quick. 100 Meseta. What? We'll take you with us for 100 Meseta. I hope you weren't thinking of asking to tag along with us for free. Uh, I can't get that kind of money from the principal. That's not my problem. Now what are you going to do? Okay, I'll pay. And... Hom joins your team. And I'm pressing the wrong buttons. So, uh, you know, you have money. I wasn't paying attention, but I think he has indeed paid you. Um... I can't have any items! I beg to differ, game. We'll see about that. Um... So... Um... So, yeah, we can just check out their stat high. Um, now we'll see stuff in, uh, in the works, in battle, but, you know, you get a view of what's going on with them. We got our new friend here, and, uh, whoop, and that's that. Um, 
you know, they can actually talk to each other. Um, you can set up the macro, which lets them... Uh, which is pre-programmed uh, battle setups. That's one of the few times you see an enemy just out there in the game. Now you can have an item. We won't see most of the battles, I'm going to cut most of them out. Um, but here you go, so it gives you a default all attacks macro. And it's a cool handy thing because you set up a few defaults and it saves you time and effort. Um, and there you go. So the way I'm going to handle this, when I'm showing off some new ability um, or new enemies, I'll leave the uh, battles in. Can't even read the famous titties on these books. Um, so that's that. Not taking much damage here. It, honestly, this is not a very hard game, um, which is part of why I think it was one that I was able to get into. I played a little bit of a couple of other RPGs before this, mostly thanks to the Sega Channel, um, which is, by the way, um, one of, if not the first online gaming services. Um, it was also one of, if not the first, consumer cable modem, um, because that's how it worked. Connected, uh, through your cable TV cable, plugged into your Genesis, and see, you already got a level up. Um, two people got levels up, <clears throat> and, uh, I'm also not gonna actually 100% this, but a few of these dungeons I will. Um, and, um, You know, you would select a game to play. It would download it into temporary memory. Um, you'd play. When you're done, you reset, go on to another game. Um, and so that's how I played this one. But I played Fantasy Star 2 and 3 before this. Um, possibly a couple other similar games. And I think I'd also played maybe something else that I rented for the Genesis, rented something for the NES. Um... Yeah. What's this? Whoop. Wrong button. What is this? It's broken, and, you know, everything else is the same. But, um, even though everything has weird names because it's Fantasy Star, I was able to make sense out of it pretty quickly. Alright, boss music, Iglanova. So, here we're gonna actually get into issuing commands. Um, you know, we don't really need to do much, but, um... Uh, let's see, shift, that's, uh, you know, boosting attack. I only use it on one person, so I don't really use it that often, honestly. Unless I know I'm having somebody just doing attack. Sa Sanner, uh, well, actually, Sonner, given the way these things are termed, uh, boosts your agility, rest is healing, think of restore. Um, Earth, I think it only puts to sleep. Um, doesn't do damage, so actually... He's a good target for shift, um, but we'll go ahead and show it off, whatever. Um, that's accuracy, that, uh, Galen does something down on the enemies. Like, there's stuff that I never really committed to memory well. Yeah, that's supposed to, like, make him fall asleep. Um, so, um, yeah, so, see, I'll go ahead and do shift on Chaz, because he's basically just gonna keep attacking. Um, because there's no point in him doing anything else. Um, I can go ahead and throw that out there, too. And he did some pretty good damage. Uh, didn't seem to accomplish anything, but whatever. Um, Foy or Foey is, um, a fire-based attack, but we want Vortex. It's stronger right now, from what I recall. Um, if I took the time to do more fighting, um, to do some grinding, then, um, then, uh, uh, people would have spells and such right now, and, uh, you know, there'd be more stuff to do, but, um, ah, butts, whoops. But you can go back and cancel your moves until the very last person commits. Um, 
so, um, but I'm gonna do very little grinding in this game to give myself a little bit of a challenge, um, because you also don't really need to do that much anyway, um, and it'll be less stuff for me to edit out, um, you know, I'm gonna have Tom deal with the little guys here, as you see. And yeah, the boss is already down. I just have to wipe out the little guys now. Um, so here, we'll go ahead and take a look at Foy. And there we go. But uh, yeah, this game... Oh, sorry, there's ta dialogue. We did it! Chaz, you need more practice. Your swing is too slow. What? But we destroyed the monster. With my help. Sorry. Now, Han, come over here. What? What are these glass containers for? These. Hey, are you by any chance breeding monsters here? If that's the case, this monster business is no mystery after all. I, I don't know anything. It's the first time I've been in this room. I've only just learned that such a thing exists in the Academy. Um... Really, it's the truth. I believe you, for now. The principal must know about these containers. He must also know about this and the connection to the disappearance of Miss Professor Holt. Yes, let's see the principal again. Come on, Chaz. Hey, don't leave me here. Chaz is probably also thinking about getting some fish from the principal. Um... Yeah, you can also run, but, you know, why? So I'll go ahead and do these battles. Um, and take this as a chance just to comment on game design. This game, something that they got right very well here, which, again, helped me get into this game as compared to the first two. Um, you don't have to grind at the beginning. You jump in and you start playing. This is Baby's first dungeon. It's tutorial dungeon. Um, I mean, as you're seeing, like... I'm walking through here, and, you know, it doesn't really take much effort. They're very easy enemies. Um, I mean, it's also worth noting, I mean, okay, I've earned a bunch of money by now, um, but uh, I started the game off essentially with $600. So, like, if I came in here and really had no clue, which is the case when I first started playing this game, screwed around and got my butt kicked, but escaped, then I could go into the town and sleep at the inn, which I think is only ten. Um, ah, see, Han has uh, magic now. Um, um, I'll show it later. Um, and get healed up come back to it. You get set, uh, I'm sorry, you get five for a couple enemies like that. So, I might have been through a couple of battles and earned some money anyway. Um, you know, you fight a boss, you get through all that, so you're kind of learning what's going on. Oh, hey, we can save our game. See? Look at that. Um, it goes by, uh, Chaz's level, not Alice's. Um, you know, um, the F Fantasy Star 2 and 3, you start off, um, and again, too, like, Alice is level 7, so she gives you that little boost. There's a character who can really hold their own. Fantasy Star 2 and 3, uh, you start off with level 1 characters, and you have to grind before you can do anything, and you have very little money as well. Um... Very little equipment. You have a decent equipment loadout to start off in this one. So it, it this one, it kind of holds your hand, but it doesn't tell you it's holding your hand. Um, I think it was a really, really good idea for how to start this game off. What's wrong? You seem upset. Were you able to defeat those monsters? Yes, but there is something I want to ask you. What? Is it just my imagination that I saw some strange things in the basement and that your voice keeps changing? Uh... Stop beating around the bush. 
Someone keeping information from me is the sixth most dangerous thing in this world. She looks like she's smiling there. All right already. I'll tell you what I know. You are aware of the recent outbreak of a new breed of monster? Oh yes, thanks to the outbreak, I'm not hurting for work. Three months ago, Holt identified Birth Valley as the origin of the outbreak, and he went to investigate. He says he discovered the remains of an ancient and advanced civilization. You know, the one that uh, people talk about existing before the Great Collapse and Mother Brain and implying and all that, but, uh, you know, we don't know anything about that at the university. The investigation team brought back the monster breeding capsules and immediately set forth on their second investigative mission, but not one of them came back. Yes, that's right, Han, you get a gold star. And despite all this, you didn't send out a rescue team and banned entry to Birth Valley. No, no, I, I was trying to send a rescue team, but something happened. At that moment, a man who called himself Zio appeared before my eyes. Zio, I've heard of him, that fake magician. Ah, my dear Principal of Mortavia Academy, how are you doing? Who, who are you? My name is Zio. Zio, the black magician. Do not intrude on Birth Valley. What do you mean? In the future, if you ever let anyone set foot in Birth Valley... People will turn gray. Let me make something clear. There is no need for you to go to Birth Valley. It's related to the research team. So that's why Birth Valley's situation wasn't announced. And also why you tried to keep a lid on the monster situation. I still don't understand why you're hiding fish here. And what is this all about? Remains of an advanced ancient civilization in Zeo? It seems like these are signs of something to come. Like foreshadowing. I need to help Professor. I'm going to Birth Valley. Han, this is egg laying season for sandworms, so be careful. Uh, Alice? We'll tag along for 300 Meseta plus expenses. Uh, deal. Birth Valley is to the northeast. Let's hurry. And everything's back to sunshine and farts again here. Are you going, huh? I guess he just can't wait to get rid of uh, that student of his. So, um, yeah. You know, so we've done Baby's First Dungeon. Um, which is so, you know, such a simple place here. But, uh, you know, we got that. Um, so, yeah, you know, the game sets itself up. We've got our first inn to check out. You can actually tell this guy has slightly greenish hair. <laughs> That's funny. What's with you guys? You're being way too friendly. Talking to everybody in town, you know. Just like you do in uh, every RPG. Um, some connection between that parcel and the monsters. So if you'd talked to her earlier... Um, from what I recall, she says something about, oh, you know, they brought in some parcel in the middle of the night, uh, or something like that. Hey, I'm undressing, get out! She also is undressing through the entire game, by the way. Oh. Yeah, yeah. See, she's not there. I wonder if the writing's on the wall, though. Nope. Yeah, this is like a dormitory. Actually, like a dormitory, it probably is a dormitory. See? It's not like a dormitory, it is a dormitory. It's not like a smart person, it is a smart person. What do you want? Somebody who's like a smart person, or is a smart person? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um... But, uh, you know, things, things will be what they will be. So, yeah. Um.
What does she want to do about those Academy students? Give them a public flogging? I don't know. Oh, here's a guy in front of the fountain. I heard some students jumped into this fountain the other day. Okay. Well, it's impressive, but I can't dip in it. Um, oh, did I stay at the end? I didn't stay at the end. I didn't go in the end. Um, so that's basically it. This is the end. Oh, it costs 15. Well, yeah, it goes up per person, so... This place, it's five per person. Um, so yeah, you get the idea. Um, you know, you can, uh, you can talk about the flowers. Chaz likes the flowers. Mailboxes, there's never anything for them there. Um... Go to the tool store. Don't really need it. So that's that. Um, and uh, I will leave things here for the episode. This is the great big wide world of Motavia. We'll save our game. And we will pick up next time on the bases loaded. I'm Lucas, and I'll see you then when we make our way toward Birth Valley. One of my favorite games of all time. Till then.